Here's what I think you should be reading this week. First up, I'm going to recommend you Matthew Cobb's biography of Francis Crick, one of the co-discoverers of DNA, together with James Watson, who actually died earlier this month at 97, and Rosalind Franklin. When you read this book, you'll see how Crick's trajectory to the astonishing discovery of DNA wasn't straightforward. He did a PhD on water's viscosity. He worked as a civil servant. Then he went back into research. Cobb brings this all to life, telling of how Crick flooded corridors and annoyed colleagues by talking endlessly to Watson. By 1952, he was broke and at risk of being sacked by his boss, Lawrence Bragg. But then Bragg's rival, biochemist Linus Pauling, claimed he had worked out DNA's structure. He hadn't, but Bragg set Crick and Watson on the case. And by 1953, they had solved it. What a story. I'm also gonna recommend you something very different. Christine Webb's The Arrogant Ape. This chips away at the concept that Homo sapiens is supreme in a natural hierarchy. But this belief is our human superiority complex, says Webb, a primatologist. She goes on to show how characteristics said to distinguish humans and justify our dominance aren't exclusive to us at all. Chimps, crows, and other animals show nuanced intelligence. They also have complex social bonds and use tools. Fish and crustaceans feel pain. Bees are cultural beings. Even plants may have senses akin to our own. Dismantling a belief in our superiority isn't just good science, argues Webb. It can also reawaken a connection with nature.